Finally tonight, our person of the week. Come one, come all, and meet a man who's never really had to grow up. It doesn't matter what happens in a day, you know, what I'm going through. It doesn't matter much at one moment, and that's the moment that the light goes on and I hear the music and suddenly I walk in the ring. Good evening and welcome. All of those woes go away, and what replaces it is an enormous sense of energy. We bring you aerialists. An enormous sense of pleasure. Tumblers and jugglers. An enormous sense of wonder. We bring you acrobats. And the connection with the audience is the final payoff for that. Paul Binder has walked into the ring of the Big Apple Circus, the circus he created for the past 30 years. Paul got his start by literally running away with the circus. In his late 20s, he and a friend, Michael Christensen, started an act juggling on the streets of Europe. And then they got hired by a legendary One Ring Circus in Paris. The next thing I knew, I was standing backstage with Michael and we were peeking out from the curtain and then looking at each other and we were saying, can you believe it? We're in the circus. Soon, Paul had the idea to start an intimate One Ring Circus in America, where the only option was that glitzy, frenetic, three ring variety. There was something about the spirit of what was going on and the contact with the audience. They responded with their, with their heart. And it said to me, this is something that's beyond France. Hi. Hi. So in 1977, the first Big Apple Circus, Big Top, was raised in Lower Manhattan. But Paul wanted to produce more than just entertainment. He wanted to generate compassion. So he made the circus a nonprofit and started a clown care unit that has been visiting sick children for 24 years. 19 hospitals have visits by the Big Apple Circus Clown Care Clowns. Doctors of Delight, we call them. One, two, three, go! And he created a circus of the senses for children who can't hear or can't see. The kids who can't see get to hear a play-by-play -play of what's going on in the circus. She's standing on the back of this beautiful white horse, and the kids who can't hear get to see the sign language interpreters interpreting the circus. My favorite, you know, the woman with the dogs, with the dogs that were dancing around. After three decades of living in a trailer, Paul has now decided to hang up his top hat at the end of the season. The feeling of, boy, it sure is time to get off the road has come and it's come and it's come and it's come. I can get off the road and I can still be a part of the Big Apple Circus. I can make its future be as bright as its past, oh, even more bright. And so we choose Paul Binder. He'll be missed as he retires from the ring after 30 years. And actually, I guess everyone has to grow up at some point. Maybe you can't stay a kid forever, even in the circus. That is World News for this Friday. I'm Charlie Gibson, and I hope you had a good day. For all of us at ABC News, have a great weekend.